Yeah, Jonathan, uh, just curious if you'll update us just with your own words on how you think your progress has been through the first three weeks of fall camp. Well, I think my progress has been pretty good just trying to adjust to the new offense, just taking it step by step, just learning new things every day from Coach Levin. Coach Kiffin is kind of great. So just trying to play fast, be real detailed, just trying to focus on getting better every day. Uh, ben, go ahead. Jonathan, what's been your impression so far of the defensive backs that you've been going against every single day? Uh, I think Coach Buck, um, like one of the top DB coaches out there, played in the league, so he's getting a real good technique and coaches on how to play defense, how to take everything away from us. So I think the DBs are getting real better. Keegan, Jay Jones, Jamar, the Kivas, they've been getting us on tough battles every day, so I think it's going to be kind of exciting to see what the DBs can do. Nate? mentioned adjusting to the new offense. What sort of different things are they asking you to do from the past years? Uh, you know, the offense is really, like, really, really different from last year. It's more open up so everybody can eat. Running backs can eat. Receivers can eat. So we're just going out there playing fast, picking up new plays from Coach Levy, picking up new plays from Coach Kiffin. So we get, like, a taste of two type of offenses. So I really like it. How often are you kind of just reading DBs and taking different, different routes kind of mid-play? Uh, just trying to like try new things. I new release new techniques. Sometimes talk to um defensive coach and be like, what type of coverage I'm in? I wish I'd go for DB right here. Like what they're trying to take away from us. They try to find new ways to be a coverage every day. David, go ahead with your question. Yeah, Jonathan. Obviously, we're not getting to see practice this year as media people. Uh, so we're relying on you guys for this kind of stuff, but. Can you give me an honest evaluation of what you've seen between Matt Corral and John Rice Plumley at the quarterback position? A lot of improvement from both of them. Corral and Plumley, like, that game is kind of similar to both of them can run, but both of them been doing good. Both of them, like, on this year, having better jobs reading the defense. So both of them competing. I'm comfortable with either one out there. At the end of the day, my job is when the ball come my way, I just got to make the best of my opportunity and do my job. So it don't matter which quarterback out there, I just got to do my job. Jonathan, are you taking first team reps with more with one of those guys than the other? And if so, how's that balancing out? It's different every other day. One day um Matt go first, the other day correct I'm pumped to go first. It did alternate days. Thank you. I appreciate it. Nick, go ahead. Just talk us through all of the guys, the receiver rights. There are seven or eighty all came back from last year. Obviously, the receivers weren't super productive last year. What's different about the room in general and who's standing out? Uh, the offense, really, we had more freedom. Last year, we were kind of limited to what we can do, but we had more freedom. So everybody going out there just being their selves and playing fast and having fun. Elijah's doing good. Drummond's doing good. Brandon's doing good. DeMar, Miles, Danish, everybody's doing good. Just going out there playing the game. We're all making plays. That's why we call ourselves playmakers.